Hey guys, how you going? It's David Crowder here with another demonstration video. Um, this morning I had to make a button for a client and I went through all my buttons in my computer and I just could not find one that would suit the purpose for this project. So I thought, oh yeah, many people will probably go through the same problem. So what I've done is I, sh I looked back through my files and I actually remembered that there's a free tool online which you can access yourself if you just go to the button factory actually it's the da buttonfactory.com and it'll take you to this, this website here so how this website works here is here's your button what your button will turn out as right at the end so you can actually put your own text in here I'll write in get instant access we'll see what that turns out as so that's generating the, there we go, get instant access. Or you can even change it to add to cart, whatever you want to do. There we go, it changes all the time. Now you can actually change the font of it as well. So if you want to put it to that font, it will change it. You can put it to a more comical font. There you go. You can increase the size of the font. You can see if there's a text shadow. You can take that off, you can leave it on as whatever you want. You can make the shadow bigger so you can customize it all. Now here's the cool part. I'll actually take that off, that doesn't look too cool. <laughs> there we go, that's alright. Um, you can change the, sh the, um, the style of the box as well. You can turn it into a round box, which we've got here. We can turn it into a rectangular box. There we go. And here's the cool part, you can actually change the background. Uh, you can do it with two colours. There we go, so we'll make the top a reddish kind of colour. And make the bottom one a yellow one. These are the kind of buttons. So you just move this tool up here, and here you can see what the colour is going to be. Now, what we'll do, but we'll turn it into gradient. And have a look at that. That looks pretty alright. We'll actually change the colour of the font as well. So you just click on colour. You can turn it into black. Get rid of this shadow. There we go. You can even turn a bubble effect on if you wanted to. So there's a bubble here. We can add a border to it as well. Let's see what color border we want. We want a blue one. There we go. And the size of the border, we want it a little bit thicker. Not that thick. And you can even add a shadow to your button, which we'll add in. And there we go, you've got your button finished, your fully customized button which you probably won't find on the, on the internet anywhere else. And the best part is this is totally free, so all you have to do now is press this button here, press download, and you've got your button. So that's on your desktop now, you can play with it as much as you want, you can put it on any website you want. I hope you really enjoyed this short tutorial today and you can go out there and make your own button. I'll see you next time.